Hello, fourth and fifth grade. Happy last week of April. It's hard to believe. Haven't seen you guys since like March 11th. Crazy, crazy. Hope you guys are doing great. Um, before we start, why don't we ask my eight ball question? You know, it's the right size. You know, I couldn't really bring home, as I've said before, the big fortune teller. So this has to work for now. Will the fourth and fifth graders do their homework this week. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Doo -doo -doo. Can't predict. Even the eight ball doesn't know. Hopefully you will show the eight ball. So name wise, attendance wise, I am on day four, which for music class includes Mrs. Howald, Mrs. Oliveri, and Miss Angelus. So you guys ready? Here we go. We're going to try to go and not stop. Tell me where's Gabe. Tell me where is Gabe. Liam, tell me where is Liam B. Azon, tell me where is Azon. David, tell me where is David. Sutney, tell me. guessing Brooke or Erin because it's right in front of me. Tell me where is Brooke? Uh, DT. Tell me where's a DT? Anaya. Tell me where's Anaya? Erin. Tell me where is Erin? Chris. Tell me where is Chris? Alex. Tell Tell me where is Isa? Blair, tell me where is Blair? Bintu, tell me where is Bintu? Maya, tell me where is Maya? Daniel, tell me where is Daniel? I sure wish I'd be seeing your faces right now while I was doing that attendance. Before we go on to Mrs. Oliveri's class, let's do a scale, but let's start on D instead of C. So this is what we normally do. Let's start here. We're moving the street over one to the right. Do, 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 re, re, re. Who's got the hand signs? Me, me, me. Fa, fa, fa. So, so, so. higher key. Let's go down lower. Some of you boys mostly, but some girls too, will, your voices will go down next year. Uh, girls, you might want to sing alto, which is the lower female. Boys, you'll either be alto because your voice is still kind of high or you'll be tenor or maybe bass. I don't know if there'll be too many basses in sixth grade, which is the B-A-S-S. -S. It's not pronounced like a fish. It's not a bass. It's bass. And, um, that's the low male. So we have soprano, which is high. It's either female or voices that haven't changed. Alto, which is a low female. Tenor, which is a high male, like a Justin Timberlake. And bass, which is a low male. All right, so now let's do a low scale. So we first one that we normally do. Uh, we went up one step. Now I'm gonna go down here. Let's see how you feel. And you can make that decision whether you like high, medium, or low. This is low. Do, 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 re, 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 mi, 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 fa, 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 so, 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 la, 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 ti, 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 do, 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 ti, 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 la, 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 so, 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 fa, fa, fa. Like that one. I can't 
C, unfortunately. Raise your hand if you like the, the regular one we do, the C. Raise your hand if you like the higher one. Okay, let's go to fourth grade names, uh, day four. Mrs. Oliveri. Tell me where is your C? Gianna C. Tell me where is Gianna? Miss you guys. Jazzy. Tell me where is Jazzy? Ryan. Tell me where is Ryan? Jerry L. Tell me where is Jerry L? I have a bird on my porch. I'm going to show you. This bird keeps taking this little stick and carrying it around. That was Jerry L. Tell me where's Jerry L again. Tell me where is Jerry L. Tevin. Tell me where is Tevin. Jackie. Tell me where is Jackie. Ojus. Tell me where is Ojus. Chloe. Tell me where is Chloe. this test number one it's attendance for me number two is can you match the tone of the piano and number three can you keep the steady beat going um throughout i bet you guys were awesome since we've been doing that since you were we little chickens okay um before we go on to angelus my dears let us eat can we have some extra buttery popcorn Extra buttery popcorn, 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 extra buttery popcorn. Um, this exercise is mainly to get you up and down in your voice so you can use a good portion of your range of your voice. Your choice. Pick your favorite food. Bubble tea. You know what bubble tea is? I like the tarot bubble tea with the tapioca pearls. It's like slushy. Of course, my favorite place to get it is closed because it's not really essential. But why don't you pick your favorite beverage if you don't like bubble tea? Bubble tea, bubble tea, bubble tea, bubble tea. It's probably the first thing I'm going to get when it opens up again. Bubble tea, bubble tea, bubble tea. How many of you like tea? How many like coffee? How many like Gatorade? Propel? G2? Uh, vitamin water? How about soda? Anybody like soda? What am I forgetting? Any sort of slushy? All right. Now we go to Miss Angelus's class and we go to Cole. Tell me where is Cole? Cassidy. Tell me where is Cassidy? Cheslin, tell me where is Cheslin? Angel, tell me where is Angel? Noah, tell me where is Noah? Dean, tell me where is Dean? Angelis, tell me where is Angelis? Santiago, tell me where is Santiago? Rian, 
Madison, tell me where is Madison? Sophia, tell me where is Sophia? Israel, tell me where is Israel? Miles, tell me where is Miles? Delise, tell me where is Delise? I bet you were awesome on that. I'm thinking to myself, I have to go and get my notebook. Come with me over here, my little chickens, because I've written down some notes for us for our next presidents. All right, so very nice job. And next time I see you next week for your fourth and fifth grade lesson, I will be doing day five. So once a week you get your lesson for your grades. Um, and then every afternoon, usually around four, depends on when I can get it uploaded. Sometimes it takes some time. There's a sing-along. And each week um, we're doing new songs. Um, and then chorus gets a song that could be sung by chorus every day. So there you go. Um, yep. So we went through presidents one through 21. Okay. And today I'd like to tell you a little bit about their favorite pets. Most of the presidents have had some sort of pet. So George Washington had two favorite horses and he had many dogs. John Adams had a horse named Cleopatra. Thomas Jefferson had two grizzly bears, a mockingbird, and two dogs. John Madison, who had a parrot who lived longer than him and his wife. James Monroe had a sheepdog and a black spaniel. Adams had an alligator in the White House. Jackson, who had a parrot who yelled at his funeral. Van Buren had cubs. Harrison had a goat and a cow. Tyler had wolfhounds, a canary, and a greyhound. Polk, nothing. Um, this looks like Taylor. Now I'm going to go look in my book here. Da, 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 da. Opening my book. Opening my book. 50 Nifty. No, you guys have already finished that one. Here we go. Into your packet. How many of you actually have this song at home? I have been uploading it, as you know. Um, yes. So the next one, my little chicken, is Taylor. My handwriting was messy. Taylor had a horse. Fillmore, nothing. Pierce had two tiny dogs that were the size of a little saucer. Buchanan had a dog and someone donated him some elephants that he gave to the zoo. Uh, Lincoln, Abraham Lincoln had a goat and a turkey. Johnson had cows and he had little white mice. Not sure why. Um, Hayes, Rutherford B. Hayes had, this is crazy, three birds, four cats, five dogs, a goat, a peacock, and the very first Siamese cat in the United States. Who knew? Garfield had a dog. Arthur, nothing. Cleveland had a bird, a canary, and a dog. Harrison had a goat. Some of them that had cows would let them like eat on the front lawn of the White House. Would you do that? I don't know that I would do that. Uh, McKinley had a parrot that could sing Yankee Doodle. Uh, Theodore Roosevelt, they like to call him Teddy, the or origin of the teddy bear, if you remember. He had a snake, a bear, dogs, a badger, ponies, a macaw, and a hamster. So that was Roosevelt. Um, hmm. Taft had some cows. And today, we are going to stop at Taft. We're stopping at 26, which is where some of the fifth graders got to that before March, before we left school. Then we're going to go further. So those are the animals. And my activity for you today to do for this week, which, by the way, you can upload it on the Google Classroom. You see, when I went to school, 
they weren't really computers because I'm like kind of old, I'm like 51. So I'm still getting used to this new spangled uh, Google Classroom thing. So some of you uh, are way ahead and already uploading it to the classroom. And whereas I had said you needed to email, well, that's technically ne not necessary because you can just put it right in the classroom, which is what I'd like you to do. So yeah, you don't have to email me. I mean, if you want to email me, yeah, it's great. But you know, I had my first email when I was like 28. So yeah, I had typewriters. Yeah. Anyway, you remember the uh, generation concert we were going to do and we were talking about all the old stuff. Old. So in the classroom, put the activities and one of the activities I'm going to, I'm going to ask you about some of the dogs and cats and stuff like that. And perhaps what animals you would like if you guys were in the White House. So that will be your activity for this week. But right now we return to the beginning. Going up to number 26 today. And the president we have right now is 45. So we've had 45 presidents since 1776 when we became a country. These are the presidents, mighty, mighty presidents. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. The father of our country, George Washington, was one. Two was John Adams, then Thomas Jefferson. Then was James Madison, and also James Monroe. And John Quincy Adams was number six, you know. These are the presidents, mighty, mighty presidents, uh-huh, uh-huh. Andrew Jackson was the seventh in line. Then Martin Van Buren followed Andy's time. William Henry Harrison was next at number nine. John Tyler James broke the state for doing fine. These are the presidents, mighty, mighty presidents, uh-huh, uh-huh. Zachary Taylor, Millard Fillmore, Franklin Pierce, as James Buchanan left, things were getting fierce. Abraham Lincoln went to war so we could be one nation living in peace and liberty. These are the presidents, mighty, mighty presidents, uh-huh, uh-huh. Andrew Johnson was the boss in those days. Then Lysis S. Grant and Rutherford B. Hayes. James A. Garfield was the 20th dude. And Chester A. Arthur showed his aptitude. So that's where we were last week. How did you guys do? Now, you do know that every time I upload this, I'm always putting the rap up there. So on your device, you can just use that to look at the music. Because a lot of us don't use printers as much anymore. If you want to print it, it's awesome. So we did last time Andrew Johnson. So that's not the other name, not Jackson. Andrew Johnson was the bosses in those days. Then Ulysses S. Grant and Rutherford B. Hayes. James A. Garfield was the 20th dude and Chester A. Arthur showed his aptitude. Okay, by yourself. through 26 we're adding today so it's Grover Cleveland was the president then then Benjamin Harrison and Grover went again now you notice that Grover Cleveland was president then it was Benjamin Harrison and then Grover Cleveland became the president again but it was not two terms in a row like a lot of people have had so he that's the only person who was president wasn't president and then became president again pretty cool sounds like a Game show question, doesn't it? Grover Cleveland was the president then. Then Benjamin Harrison and Grover went again. William McKinley demonstrated his skill. Then Theodore Roosevelt charged up the hill. Theodore Roosevelt was an extremely popular president. People like loved him. He got a little wacky by the end of his life, but um, people really, really loved him. And that was the beginning of the 1900s. All right, Grover Cleveland. Grover Cleveland was the president then. Then Benjamin Harrison and Grover went again. William McKinley demonstrated his skill. Then Theodore Roosevelt charged up the hill. These are the presidents, mighty, mighty presidents. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So now we're getting to William Howard Taft, which we'll talk about next week. And as I've explained to some of the um, fifth graders already, when we get to Woodrow Woodrow Wilson right after Taft, that's when finally um, he was a president who made it legal for women to vote. All men, regardless of color, could vote before women. 
and women finally in 19, I want to say 1920, 1919. So how about 100 years ago? I'm going to go back to the beginning. Can you sing it with me? Sing it to your dog. Sing to your stuffed animal. Eh, sing to somebody. Ready? These are the presidents. These are the presidents. Mighty, mighty presidents. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. The father of our country, George Washington, was one. Two was John Adams, then Thomas Jefferson. Then was James Madison and also James Monroe. And John Quincy Adams was number six, you know. These are the presidents, mighty, mighty presidents. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Andrew Jackson was the seventh in line. Then Martin Van Buren followed. William Henry Harrison was next at number nine. John Tyler James Polk, the states were doing fine. These are the presidents, mighty, mighty presidents, uh-huh, uh-huh. Zachary Taylor, Millard Fillmore, Franklin Pierce, as James Buchanan left, things were getting fierce. Abraham Lincoln went to war so we could be one nation living in peace and liberty. These are the presidents, mighty, mighty presidents, uh-huh. Johnson was the boss in those days, then Ulysses S. Grant and Rutherford B. Hayes. James A. Garfield was the 20th dude, and Chester A. Arthur showed his aptitude. These are the presidents, mighty, mighty presidents, uh-huh, uh-huh. Grover Cleveland was the president then, then Benjamin Harrison and Grover went again. William McKinley demonstrated his skill, then Theodore Roosevelt charged up the hill. These are the Uh-huh. All right, that was up to 26. How'd you do? How many of you were like, oh my God, so perfect, you would say three out of three. How many of you were average? You got some of it, some of it, you're like, eh. How many of you are like one? You're like, I got a couple. How many of you are like zero? Because you're like, Perryman, what are you doing? So hopefully that's our goal is that we can have this song accomplished by the end of the year, which has been a challenge even when we've been in school with other grades, even with us in person. So I bet you, you guys can do it. So we start next time with William Howard Taft. And um, boy, would I love it if you guys would send me a video of you guys singing some of this. I would, I, I don't know. I might jump up and down and, I already kind of do that, but come up with something crazy. But yeah, that would be really cool if you wanted to. E. Perryman at nbtschools.org if you wanted. All right. You guys have an awesome, awesome week. And hopefully I'll see you via a recording in our sing-alongs um, in the afternoon. Bye.